What is up, everybody? Let's talk building portfolio projects. That's exactly what I'm gonna show you what I'm doing today to do exactly that for my own portfolio because yes, I'm getting back into design work after 10 freaking years freelance and I have to build a portfolio. So what you're seeing here is me prompting ChatGPT with some ideas. I used to say, hey, yeah, you have to have real portfolio projects, but I don't believe that's the case anymore. I think you just have to have an idea and you have to design, that's it. So what I'm gonna do here in this video is show you, as I'm showing you right here, my process for building out a logo for a fictional company. And this logo is gonna be animated and we're gonna take it and arrive. Trust me, stick around to the end because it's super cool. It only took me two hours. And if you're really focused, you can actually build a portfolio quite quickly. So what I'm doing here is I'm, I'm attempting identity design and I'm trying to come up with a unique symbol of some sort. So this is called loop scribe, which is generated, you know, an idea from ChatGPT, And it's just an idea of like a web based looping service for audio and visuals or something like that. <laughs> so what I have here kind of looks like a paper clip is kind of like an abstract S uh, in like a kind of like a looping form. And I want to accentuate that in Rive. You want to be able to demonstrate as much as possible what you can do and you know what your skill sets are. So my skill set isn't just identity design. I can also do motion design, which is a really great use case for Rive. So what you're seeing here, I'm now in Rive and you can't really see what I'm attempting to do with the animation just yet. Stick around to the end because I'm going to show you the full actual logo animation. I, but essentially what I'm doing here is it is an iterative process when it comes to motion design. Uh, you have to mess around with the interpolation. Uh, you have to mess around with the keyframes and you have to most importantly be willing to experiment and be willing to take the time to experiment because you can discover things that you really, you know, they were based on accident, which happened a lot here. And here it is. This is what I came up with in the span of two hours this morning from scratch. As you can see, you can create something that's actually quite impressive, pretty decent. Is it perfect? No, it's only been two hours. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna revisit this and I'm going to continually make improvements where I see fit. And that's how I like to deal with design. I never just kind of like take the first session and go with that. You can always come back with fresh eyes even if it just takes an hour or two away from the computer coming back and we can further make improvements. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that example demo of what I am capable of in terms of identity design and coming up with one concept that is animated to accentuate the different aspects of the logo. And I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna keep on improving it and include it in my new upcoming portfolio. So my portfolio will be web-based on my own website, but also I'm gonna be launching a portfolio on Contra.com and maybe a couple others. And I'm excited to kind of share the progress that I'm making to establishing my own portfolio. If you'd like to see more of this type of content where I kind of just document what I'm doing to build my portfolio, let me know in the comments, of course. And yeah, I'm super excited to keep this going. I have a Rive course coming out at the end of this month here within about seven, eight days or so. And hopefully you guys check that out and I will see you all very soon. Bye.